Pokemon! Science and Magic The capital of the Reef makes a splash. Here we have it all. Fish, shopping, and More fish. the prize of our city. The Pokemon Battle Should have heard a Lexicon Lake Champion. Moxley. 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 Hmm. We just have fish every other word. Lemon Boo. Defense Curl. <laughs> what a waste of time. Ox again. Flame Charge. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> this new Pokemon isn't half bad. I wonder if Blues is having any better luck with his gym battle than I am training. That's right, we're doing the battle first. We got first rights. So, this is the Stockholm City gym? Look out for the boats. <sighs> Gotta admit, it's pretty fancy. Good. Well, my gym is really just a boat garage, so how stylish can it really look? Go still make it a know. puzzle. I just like being positive. Evening, gentlemen. I'll be today's referee. Okay, the battle between Blues, the challenger, and Reef, the gym leader, is about to begin. Okay, here we go. To put it simply, this battle will be a three-on-three -three Pokemon battle, and the battle will be over once one side's defending Pokemon are unable to continue. Furthermore, since you are the challenger, Blues, only you will be allowed to substitute Pokemon. Got it? Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, trainers, choose your Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, Blues, this is my first Pokemon that you're going to have to face. Go! Aeroscuta! Huh. <laughs> Shoot and sword, spoiler oh, warning. I'm very I sorry. That Pokemon before. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of the special Pokemon from the Gala region. I picked it up on my travels there. Admittedly, this is actually its first gym battle. So, so, care to make it a memorable one? Hmm. In that case, I'll go with you first. Double fish! Water versus water, eh? Double fish, huh? I was expecting it to use Sneak a Cat first. Well, what can I say? Sneaky Cat's pretty much my secret weapon. It's not a secret if he knows about it. The best choice for last, you know? Fair enough. Contestants this is ready? the best kept secret since the, that Set. Fort Knox holds all the gold in America. Go! Or anything involving Area 51. Alright, Gobblefish. Let's start this off with Rain Dance. It's triggered Swift Swim. <laughs> okay, now Aqua Jet. You use Aqua Jet too. Counted. What? Your Gufflefish ain't the only one that knows the move. Swift Swim. Now Counter let's go, Arascuda. Use Bite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's change things up a little bit. Use Splash Zone. What? Splash what? You'll see soon enough. All right then, Arascuda, Aqua Jet, now! Hang in there, Gufflefish. Use Aqua Jet. Counter it again. Too much now, of a bonky Bubble hit Beam. On. Uh oh. Uh. <sighs> Arascuda is unable to battle. Gufflefish is the this winner. Is where they hit head on and then they say we back for two fire. Arascuda. Here, have a nice rest. Ha! Well done, Gufflefish. It ain't over yet. Gufflefish is becoming okay, the MVP. Okay, you're up next. Go, Araquanid! Speaking of MVPs... Araquanid? Already? That's right. Oh, and while we're at it... Gufflefish was splashed by Araquanid. Wait, what? Why did Gufflefish take damage? Remember the move I used with Arascuda earlier? Splash Zone? That's its effect. Every time I switch out, you take damage. It's, it's so like words, the reverse it's an of stealth. Ball. version of spikes or stealth. Ball. Yeah, I was just going to be exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Great. In that case, well, you can't return. You can't switch. Ah, calling it quits already? Yeah, I figured that Gufflefish wouldn't really be a match for a Rockman. Besides, I've got something else in mind. Valoraptor. 
Who's part fairy because screw typing? Flying type, huh? Should have seen that coming. A rock went in. Use ice beam. It sounds beam. like I'm being mean to SK Talon Knight, but you know, there are times in Pokemon where just like, no, this should not be this typing. I'm sorry, oh. Gumi should be water type, <laughs> not dragon. Okay, wing attack. At the very least, have water as a side, you know, typing. Liquidization. Also, the fact that Clink is not part steel is the is why I don't have is why I don't have trouble with uh, the. Ha! All right then. Now issues. let's go. X scissor. <laughs> Damn special ability. Perfect. Okay, now go wing attack. Oh no, you Flying don't. Fairy. Quick ice beam. Quick, I Talon tag it. Araquanid fainted. This could be Ash versus Crasher. Araquanid is unable to, three, to battle. You know. Valoraptor is the winner. Ha <laughs> ha! Well done, Valoraptor. You did good, Araquanid. Not good enough. Turn. <laughs> you know, I was worried there when you brought out Araquanid, but I've already taken out two of your Pokemon, and I've fainted your best one. Maybe this gym battle will be easier than I thought. You're counting chickens before they hatch. Make sure you don't let your overconfidence consume you. It might cost you the match. Besides, whoever said a Rockwinid was my best Pokemon? Whoever said it wasn't. Wait. A Rockwinid's not your best? Alright, you're up next. Let's go! Quiolet! What? Quio... What is that? Quiolet. This is my best Pokemon. Quiolet, oh. the strengthening Pokemon, a water and fairy type. It can be found in the deepest forests of the region, as it sits under waterfalls playing to its tune. It is said anyone who disturbs it will be forced to play on its heart until their hands break. Ooh. So it's a water and fairy type, huh? Well, it does look pretty strong. You There's like bet. sock. And this doesn't it even scratch the surface. surface. Sort of. Ah! <sighs> okay then. Valoraptor. Talon tag. T the move failed. What? Wait. What happened? Quiolet's special ability happened. It's called Undisturbed. And it prevents you from using moves that hit first. What? So I can't no use moves, moves like Quick Attack? Or Talon Tag? Or Aqua Jet. Exactly. Thanks to Quiolet's ability, they're negated. <sighs> it doesn't matter. I'm still faster than you. Use Wing Attack! Think again. Use Trick Room! Uh oh. The slowest Pokemon goes trick room. faster. Exactly. Now let's go, Quiolet. Boom Burst! Boom Burst! Good work, Velaraptor. Oh no! Ha! <laughs> Good job, Quiolet. Valoraptor is unable to battle. Quiolet is the winner. <sighs> you did the best you could, Valoraptor. Here, return. All right, Blues. Who you got next? <sighs> Let's see. You can't use Gufflefish. That's a trick room. It'll just be up instead. Not to mention, I can't use Aqua Jet because of. Not to mention, I can't use Aqua Jet because of Quiolet's ability. Retake. In that case, I got it. It's all on you now. Sneak a cat! Best versus best. You're using your best Pokemon already? Well, are you sure you want to risk it? Yeah, you know it. Okay, sneak a cat! Leaf Tornado! Dodge it. Ugh. Uh. Okay then, Quiolet. Use Moon Blast. Sneak a cat. Hang in there, Sneak a cat. Leaf Tornado again. Gotcha. Ha! Finally. Yeah, but it won't last you long. Okay then. Use Water Pulse. Trick room more off, meaning Sneak a Cat can go faster uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. Time's up. 
dodge and use leaf edge. Version of the enemy doesn't follow a time counter, just follows a, you know, IRL time counter. Like that. Quickly, Quiet Let, use Moon like Blast. Overgrow activate. <laughs> okay, now, Sneaker Cat, Leaf Tornado. Uh. Quiolette is unable to battle. Sneaker Cat is the winner, meaning Blues is the winner of this gym match. <laughs> yes. Well done, Sneaker Cat. Well, <laughs> Sneaker Cat is evolving. What? Looks like my tour is all splashed up. You did a good job, Quiolette. Here, your turn. <sighs> well, that was a rush. Oh, what a rush. Well done, Blues. Well done. Honestly, I'm not surprised considering you've managed to hold your own against Team Eco Grunts. Even though the leader technically let you win. Yeah, I know. But next time, when it's an official battle, I'll get him. Believe me, should you ever face him again, I doubt that he'd hold back. But regardless, the skill you've shown off today is definitely enough to earn yourself a splash badge. Awesome. Maybe the we that just got a splash badge. That you have defeated the Stockholm City Gym. And with it comes this, TM-59, for Splash Zone, the move I taught you earlier. Thanks. Hey, oh, what did I miss? Oh, not much. Just the whole gym battle. So, oh. <laughs> right. Well then, Loki, I think you're next. <laughs> you bet I am. Oh, and don't forget about our little deal, Reef. Deal? Yeah, Loki and I still want answers about what happened on that island. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right. After your gym battle, I'll happily explain everything. After everything we've been through, you both deserve the truth. Excellent. Well, Loki, good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Rude. I don't need luck. Meanwhile... <laughs> After the hyper beam disaster... <gasps> I'm alive! Unfortunately. And I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Lenin Kalos. You are right, mate. Very. Now tell me, fellow trainer, whereabouts in Cryoto am I? Uh, Cryoto? You're in Gala, mate. <laughs> you guys saw it to another fucking region. I was kidding. What? Are you serious? Oi, crikey, it's a crock. How can a Briton do how can a British man do a terrible British accent? <laughs> Oi, governor. Then again, for some reason, British just sounds so strange to me. Basically, they group the four kids in double GX or just in general. The way they're British always sounded Australian, but in a lovable sort of way. Oi. The fact that Valen was meant to be British, I'm just like, no, no he wasn't. They knew what they were doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, what was your favorite water type Pokemon? Did we get this question already? Hey, everything's a bloody water type. Let's go with, uh... Hmm. I don't know what I answered last time. Uh, let's just go pre-Marina considering she's my Gen uh, 7 starter. Uh, when I played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and uh, by that I suffered with Ultra Moon. Well, not suffered, but that game is half assed the hell and back again. I can't wait for Ultra Sword and Ultra Shield, where it's literally the same game. But we changed things here, slightly here or there, to make you pay a whole 60 bucks. Still better than Link Evolution, where it's like, here's an entire 60 bucks for something that's going to be outdated in a year. And we know it's going to be outdated, and we half assed it. Oh, that's um. Virtual both Google links, it's free. So if you don't like it, you didn't pay anything for it. Okay. Whatever. Unless you pay the DLC, but that's entirely your own choice. See ya.